hello my lovelies i hope that you're doing well i bring you cavalry greetings this is your favorite girl katie and i want to welcome you to another episode of grow with katie <music> If we have met before, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing my videos. God bless you. I'm here because you are here. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please support my vision by subscribing, liking, and sharing, and also sharing your experiences with us in the comment section. We like to learn because every day is an opportunity to learn something new. In today's live video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven tips on what can help you build a healthy self-esteem. We do realize that a lot of people with poor self-esteem, you know, when you trace it, it can literally go back from things like, you know, their childhood experiences, they might have adverse childhood experiences, they might have been going through, uh, they might have gone through a bereavement, they might have been through difficult life events in life such as a divorce or dealing with betrayal or have been a victim of domestic abuse that kind of tampered with their, we you know, with their self-esteem. What is really a healthy self-esteem? A healthy self-esteem is having a sense of value, having a sense of worth, actually getting, working on yourself and getting to that point where you actually realize that once you walk into a space, you walk into that space because of the value that you bring to that space, not because someone else could not make it and then someone just automatically invited you. No, it's that sense of value that you bring into any space that you walk into. It's feeling good about yourself and feeling worthy and not always seeking validation from other people. So you might want to think about these things because, you know, it's quite closely linked and related. That takes us to our first point of today, which is identifying and challenging your thought processes. Once you identify why you're feeling so low in yourself, why you're always needing someone to tell you you're beautiful, why you're always needing someone to tell you you're good enough, identify your thought processes so that you can challenge it. Remember, the Bible says we should guard our hearts with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. So you want to make sure that you're identifying those processes. Why? Because the battlefield always starts in the mind. It starts by you processing them in your mind and then you start to act them. So tip number two, identify your strengths. We all have things that we are good at. Every single one of us that God created has something they are good at. Someone like me, when I was going through my divorce, I realized that the God has God has given me the spirit of encouragement. You see, so in that pain, I found purpose. I found assignment. Finding your strengths can actually help you to work in purpose because your passion could be anything that has to do with something that you really enjoy doing. That even if someone were not paying you to do it, you really find satisfaction doing it. So identify the strengths that you have because everyone has something that they are good at. Number three, you want to be intentional about your sphere of contact. Yes, there are some people that you must love from a distance. Anyone that is in your sphere of contact that drains you and doesn't bring out the best in you, you've got no business with them because remember, you are the average of the five people that you spend the most of your time with. So you want to be intentional in the people that you're putting in your space. Remember, friendship is by choice. Number four, you want to give yourself a break. Remember, you don't have to be perfect every day of the week and every hour. The goal is for you to get better consistently. It's not to be perfect every single day and every single hour. So there are days that you will still struggle. Are there days that I still feel, mm, I can't do this thing? Absolutely. And that's absolutely fine. So give yourself a break. If there's a day that you still feel discouraged, there are days I am a confident woman. And there are days that I still go, mm, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. That's absolutely fine. So give yourself a break. Don't be too hard or don't be too critical on yourself. Give yourself a break, my darling. You are only but human. Number five, you want to make sure that you're not too critical of yourself. This is something I had to learn the hard way. Oh, I could whip myself by myself. So don't be too critical on yourself. Don't be so harsh. Learn to be kind to yourself. You're only a human being, which means you will make mistakes. Yes, give room for reflective living and be a reflective person. I can be a very iamative thinker. I can reflect quite deeply. However, sometimes I don't always get that balance, you see. So I end up hitting myself too hard. So you don't want to be too critical of yourself. You will make mistakes on him. So what? Yes, we all make mistakes. Remember, we are human beings. That's a presence, continuous stance. So give room for mistakes, learn from them and move on. And number six, daily affirmations. The power 
in I am. Stand and look at yourself in the mirror and start to tell yourself who you are. What does the Bible say? What keeps your confidence going consistently? It's what you draw from the word of God. You know that God takes delight in you. You are his pleasure and you are his well tender sheep. So he takes delight in you. He loves you. That consciousness allows you to really affirm things that you believe that the word of God says about you. You are a chosen generation. You are a peculiar people. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, God knew you by name. He called you to be a prophet unto the nations. So you see every day you're professing things. My voice will be heard in my generation. I am deserving of the good things of life affirmations i couldn't do without them even till now as i talk to you i do affirmations every single day i even run the whatsapp group i call it um you know the accountability group where every single day we share our affirmations and we'll be doing that for the whole of 2022 god willing and as it grants us grace and lastly number seven pause and celebrate the little wins yes because it gives you a sense of achievement you can't just go 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 yes pause and review and think mm, actually kids well done i have done well call yourself by name and say wow look at what the lord has used me to do it gives you a sense of achievement and it makes you want to do more like they say in our you know um local um, slogan yes it gingers you to do more so please you know give yourself a break pat yourself in the back and tell yourself well done open yourself a bottle of malt or a bottle of you know wine and pour it out non-alcoholic wine by the way <laughs> okay and say cheers to yourself and then celebrate the little wins and trust god for grace to take you all the way the bible says he that too he has helped us he would continue to help us so that our image will continue to be that that reflects all that God has called us to be. Remember, society doesn't define you. Don't allow the age of social media with all their yardsticks to tell you where you're supposed to be and what you could have been doing by now and what you could have achieved and how all your friends are married and how they have children. No, God's time is always the best. To keep working, working and working on yourself. Go, go ahead and put all these things in practice. If there's any other thing that you want to add to the list, please, by all means, put it in the comment section. Let me know how you remain confident as a woman especially when you have children or you don't have children where you know people are saying no this is how you're supposed to look this is how you're supposed to not look so please share your experiences with me in the comment section and let us continue to build a healthy self-esteem but i say to you you are beautiful and deserving of the good things of life so keep working on yourself build a healthy self-esteem go out there work into that space confidently knowing that you add value into any space that you work in so you know why because i tell you you are worth it so please do like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and please click on that notification button so that when next i upload anything on grow with katie you will sure be the first to know and keep looking after yourself keep smiling wear that smile like you own it remember it doesn't cost you nothing remain rapturable and remain happy.